Hello, all of you out there in Region 12 land. My name is Josh Essery, and it's time for another episode of The More You Know. And this one is going to be a bonus offer. You get two in one, because they're both pretty quick, but they're both full, chopped, full of value. Is that chopped or chalked? I think it's chopped. Anyways, you get two. One of them's super short and awesome. And we're gonna start with that one. So the first one is the, the waffle. And this may not be a new thing. This is just something that Josh figured out the other day and I wanted to share it. But it's in the waffle. So you know, like when you're in Google Drive or you're in your Gmail and you have this little guy right here, the waffle. Uh, your Google Apps thingy, the bobber. Um, a lot of food related analogies or metaphors in, in Google. We have waffles and hot dogs and hamburgers and chocolate chips. But we're talking about the waffle. And so you look through this waffle, and this is how you probably access a lot of apps. But maybe I'm going through here and I'm thinking, you know what? I use Google Sites a whole lot, but I always have to click it and scroll down a little bit and find it. If I want to, I can just click that and drag that up to the top where I use it. I didn't know that you could drag these around. <gasps> That's so cool. That's number one. On to... Number two. So here we are in Google Docs, and we're gonna talk about the smart chips. If you don't remember that one from a previous episode, I'm gonna go ahead and put a box around me somewhere where you can click and watch that episode too. But you'll see it right there, it says tap at to insert. And this is where we could put, we could like, you know, tag certain people, we can put files in there, we can put all those cool things that we can put in there. And if you've been afraid to click the at button when it tells you to, that's there too, so check that out. But there are now, templates or building blocks as Google calls them that you can automatically insert and it puts formatted tables in. So let's just take a look at those real fast. Uh, you can find them at the at symbol. So we'll go ahead and type that in and you'll see you have meeting notes, email drafts, product roadmaps, and review tracker. If you click this button, you get more. You even have a content tracker, um, product roadmap, project assets, all these things. You can also find those, uh-oh, I killed it. There we go. You can also find them under the tools or insert. I believe they're under insert and building blocks. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of those looks like. We've seen the meeting notes, uh, but let's look at a review tracker. Look at that. Automatically formatted table with drop downs. And you can change this. Maybe this doesn't fit you. Uh, maybe it's just for project management with uh, you know different sessions or different workshops. So you just say project name, status, and notes. And so if you put your project name down, uh, we've got a uh, summit coming up. I can, I mean, that's kind of a big idea, but anyways, you get the idea. Uh, you can click that and you can say in progress, under review or approved. It's like, Josh, those don't fit mine. Just click that little button down there. You can change the colors, you can change the order, and you can even change the title of it and you can even add more options for what that drop down is supposed to say. Maybe the last one should be um, assigned to. And then I can just go ahead and click that at sign and put someone's name in. So I'm gonna put my name in, boom, right there. And now it's assigned to me. Put multiple people in there. You can attach files. Works as a great product management tool. Let's go ahead and we're just gonna hit enter a few times, get some more space. Let's put another building block again. Again, we're gonna go to insert. We're gonna go down to building blocks and let's do the content tracker. There we go. What type of is it? Type of is it? Description. I don't ever think I said that right. What type is it? There we go. Description, publish date, was it published? So this might be a good thing for social media. Uh, if you're trying to plan out when your social media is gonna go out on your Facebook or your Instagrams and Twitters and whatever you might have going for you. But there's a lot in there and just be aware, the thing that I wanna emphasize the most is that you do not have to use them exactly as you see them. You can edit them all you want to and yet, some of y'all are already figuring it out, you can go ahead and just make your own. So if you just wanted to have a really simple project tracker, you can go ahead and just insert a table. Let's just do two columns. Let's do like six rows, get it started. And then up here you have project name. And then over here you have status, okay? Ready to rock and roll. And then you can put your own drop downs in. <gasps> what Josh, those aren't automatic. No, they're not. They're not hidden away. You can do them manually too. So you go to insert and there they are right there. Drop downs. Click on that. 
even gives you some awesome templates. Do you want a review status? A yes or no? A project status? A rev another uh, uh, review status is in there twice. Yes. Or you can just do a new drop down and create your own. I think that's pretty awesome. So play around with those. Let me know what ideas you come up with and let me know what order you drag your waffle around into. And you have to know, you have to tell me if you knew that already because that has, that it's, I feel like it's been there forever and I've just been missing out. So, uh, and, and being said, tell me all the cool Google things you know, because like I said, I've missed it. Who knows what else I've been missing. So let's see what other things we've been missing next time on the next episode of The More You Know.